Hey guys, it's been a while since I've been on here. Um, I just want to come on and tell you that um, life is crazy sometimes. Sometimes things come up in your life and you just don't expect them. And, you know, things keep getting thrown at you and um, sometimes they're just challenges that are never ending that you, th you think that you're just like, why me? Why does it keep happening? Um, and the best that you can do is just to keep going forward. The devil has tempted um, Jesus so many times, um, if you read the Bible, and Jesus never did anything wrong, and he just kept throwing these challenges at him. And I think that what we can do to parallel this in our life is just accept that life is going to be challenging. There's not going to be easy times all the time. We're going to come across these crazy chaotic string of things that might not make sense to you, and you might think that you're fighting this never-ending battle. But at the end of the day, if you just put your faith in prayer and know that God is with you even in these challenging times, no matter what happens, He's always there with you. And I think it's a good basis to look at when we think about our lives and how, you know, nothing might be easy for us. And no matter what level we get at life, we're, it's all the same. At the end of the day, the, the thing that we find most hope in is through God. So when we really take a step back and think, you know, this next opportunity, this next thing I'm changing up overcoming will bring me joy or bring me what I need in my life, it won't. Because we'll still have another challenge ahead of it. It's like the more things you get, the more things you want in life. And yeah, it's good to have goals and expectations and achieve those goals. But what I'm trying to say is that you won't feel fulfilled by those things. Those things are not as fulfilling as the love and, and joy that you get from Jesus Christ. So when you look essentially at your life and you think that you have all these challenges and everything might be going right or everything is on the right path, but you don't feel the sense of fulfillment, you have to find the sense of fulfillment through other things, through community, through community, community, and loving God and putting Him first in your life and tr truly believing that prayer and knowing that you find this joy in God. You don't find it anywhere else. You don't, you don't find it in a relationship and you don't find it through other opportunities. And um, it's lost on so many people, especially today in society, when society says that it's okay to love something else. This is what you want in your life. Society tells us we want to be perfect. We want lots of money, we want um, to be famous, we want all these other things, we want to idolize models, um, actresses, movies, and truly, you know, it's hard to be perfect, but when you have a basis and know and repent and show that our purpose here was not to value those things, and, you know, God wants us to experience joy in life, but he doesn't want us to put our faith and all of our love into that one thing because the happiness and joy that we find is not through those things and the joy we find in life is essentially through God and sharing the Word of God with others um, if we don't share the Word of God with others we leave so much so many missed so many missed opportunities for others to find the love and joy we experience with God and um, the basis of sharing this with community and others is the purpose that we can, we can create this community and have others love God. And everyone is always deserving of God's love. So we have so many chances and opportunities to share the word of God with others through friends, family, um, inviting co-workers to church, and just introducing um, that person to God is all you have to do. You don't have to do the rest. You can let God work in their life. And I think this is solely missed on a lot of people because a lot of people just attend church and think it's, there's not any more to it than just attending. But attending church doesn't make you a Christian. Going out and spreading the word of God and being there for him makes you one. And I think that, I mean, you can obviously be a Christian either way, but I think truly what makes us who we are is that we find those that need help and help those in need. And there's so many broken people today that can use help. 
And if we don't step up and prove that we we can help those people, we can guide them in the right direction instead of looking down on them and ignoring that their their cry for help, it it's um, challenging. Because if every one of us went out there and helped somebody else that needed the help or needed the guidance in their life, it would be such a difference and such a change. And I just think truly that my purpose is to spread the word of God, whether it be on here or some other platform or telling people about Jesus that don't know about him, that I come across at the grocery store, the gym, wherever. And I meet a lot of people because I'm an extrovert. So, um... Yeah, I do. And I see a lot of broken people online and and I don't know if they think that the solution is through sharing their pain online, but I think that they can get through a lot of other ways. And if people would just share the word of God with them.